Good morning everyone, it's Anifa Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. I'm in the forest and it's a beautiful morning and uh, it smells so fresh in here and I wanted to talk today a little bit about uh, professional ego and uh, it's so interesting because uh, of course this applies to many professions and I thought of course you know that I have a particular interest in healthcare but this happens in engineering, in IT, in computer technology, in uh, so many different fields, teaching, everything, there is this professional ego that uh, develops over time. And I'd like to point out that I'm going to be starting this series on specific to health professional ideas, but these are ideas that apply to everyone. And the reason that uh, it's particularly important that health professionals are looking at this is because health professionals, even though we talk a lot about this information, we don't actually apply it, or many do not actually apply it to our own lives. And today I'd like to start this series to talk about professional ego and especially in health professionals. And I'd like you to listen to it. And if you are a health professional in any capacity, I'd love you to take this, these ideas a little bit uh, seriously so that uh, we can actually help improve ourselves and our practice. So the first quotation that I wanted to start with is uh, one by Dov Davidoff, and it says, false humility is thinly veiled ego disguised as self-confidence. False humility is thinly veiled ego disguised as false self-confidence. So when we think about self-confidence, of course we want all of our health professionals to have lots of self-confidence. And of course I wonder, if we realize when we're moving from self-confidence into false ego. So when we look at this, we can see that we really do respect health professionals. We've probably respected them so much that if we've gone into a health professional field, we know why it's been from some confidence in our healthcare providers or confidence in our abilities to learn the things that can help other patients. Yet we often move from this self-confidence to Pride. And this is a big transformation which a lot of times professionals do not realize. We can certainly pick it up in others and we can say, wow, that particular doctor won't speak to my client or won't speak to me, right? Or this particular nurse is so not kind, right, in terms of her mannerisms. And remembering that humility is the opposite of pride and this is what when practitioners become more and more confident they start losing that humility humility is part of soul energy pride is part of human ego energy so i wanted to bring out that difference today for you to think about and reflect on in your own life the second quotation i wanted to share with you is by an unknown author but i really loved it and it says when pride comes we are already fallen what comes after that is a detail. When pride comes, we are already fallen. What comes after that is only a detail, is a detail. So when we think about this, we think, wow, when pride has arrived in our lives, and again, most people are not aware of it themselves, it affects everything, right? So it affects how we communicate with clients. We com it affects how we communicate with their families. It affects how we communicate with our own families. And this is a very interesting awareness to have that if we are confident and then maybe prideful in our practice and we do our practice really well, are we doing it more as a front that, you know, I know what I'm doing. And then we come home with that same sort of idea. I know what I'm doing. And there's also a judgment in that time, right? That patients are going through Dr. Google and we know this and there's a lot of practitioners that get really concerned about oh everything that you're reading is not right and many times that's true because a lot of people look at the least positive directions or if there's recommendations there's going to be other recommendations that are on Dr. Google and when clients come in asking about these things many practitioners will get really frustrated or angry or irritated about don't you trust me I know what I'm talking about right that sort of idea and it does become too much. Luckily, most healthcare practitioners have an awareness of, yes, there's other ideas out there, but this is the one that I think will work for you. What practitioners often go into is, I know this is right for you. And we also know that after a certain length of time, we might actually change the plan. 
And this is so important. Again, it requires a space of humility to present to clients that way. So then I wanted to finish with one more quotation. And this is by John O'Donohue. And this says, the ego is the false self born out of fear and defensiveness. The ego is the false self born out of fear and defensiveness. And when you look at this in healthcare, we can see that there's so many legalities that healthcare practitioners of any sort are walking through, right? Are actually following regularly, right? So whether it's continuing education or whether it's just the legal details of what we write down in our files or whether it's um, the calling back, whether it's any um, association fees, right? So all of those things are the fine line that we're walking on that professional side. And then in that time, there is a fear and defensiveness that comes up for a lot of practitioners. So there's this fear of, oh my goodness, my colleague just got charged for this, for not writing the proper notes. My colleague just got fined for being late with their association fees. Whichever way it is, there's a bit of fear that develops. There's also, we lose clients, right? So sometimes a client just goes to another practitioner. Sometimes a client passes away. And there's a bit of fear that rises in a lot of healthcare practitioners about, oh my goodness, what is the state of the world? But when that fear is there, it also affects the family life, the home life, and our life in general. So today I'd love for you to sit for five minutes, no matter which profession you might be practicing, healthcare or not, and see, is there any fear and defensiveness arising in your life? Are you defensive to your supervisor? I did do that, or I was going to do that, or of course I know that, right? Is there this ego that's developing right under your nose without your proper attention to it? In this series, I'm hoping to give you some ideas to work with and I really would love for you to think about this for five minutes and reflect for five minutes to see where do you stand in the space, how much of your ego and pride is developing and how much are you coming from your soul energy versus the ego mind energy. I wish you a fantastic day ahead and I hope you remember transform your mind and transform your life. Have a great day everyone.